And there it is. The Arizona roll continues. Their first week as a ranked team in the Jet Fish era. They come on the road and they win one. Two Minute Drill with Jet Fish is presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union. Whether buying your first car or purchasing a new home, Hughes is here to help take you further. HughesFCU.org, insured by NCUA. The Wildcats are home for the final time this season, Saturday afternoon as they take on the Utah Utes at Arizona Stadium. Wildcats riding a four game winning streak thanks to a great win up in Boulder over the weekend. Coach, you're on the road. It's a great environment. Last home game for Colorado. They play, they're play. they playing great. Uh, your team has field position challenges. The crowd, you don't lead until the clock hits zero and you win the game. How satisfying is that for a program? Yeah, I think it was all that that you just described. It was A, a great environment. I mean, it was a packed house, loud as can be. And uh, they were really playing that field position battle early. And, you know, we had the ball in the minus two twice, two series. And uh, it was a huge win. It was a huge win for our guys. Uh, they went up and they stayed up the whole game until we tied it up there uh, in the fourth and then wound up being able to kick that field goal at the very end. But our guys just battled and competed and it's a big road win for us in the conference. Defense did a great job down the stretch. Jonah Coleman was, um, well, how do you describe what he did? Yeah, I mean, he, he closed the game. He closed the game out. And, uh, you know, with his running, I think it was a 23 yard and a 24 yarder. Um, there was just some explosive plays throughout the, the whole game. Um, and, and the one-two punch with DJ and Jonah in this game, I think DJ had two touchdown runs. And, uh, it's just, it's fun to watch those guys and it's fun to watch Jonah run, man. He runs hard and uh, with a lot of passion. Um, I love your math skills because that final minute came down and you knew timeouts, situation, exactly how to play it. How quickly did you calculate that? Or, or is that something that over your experience you've seen before? Well, you have to kind of, you know, you have a little bit of a chart that tells you what you need to do with one, if the other team has one timeout and, and how much time you could run out. So when we knew that all we had to do was, you know, with a minute 31 or wherever it was on the clock, we knew that, you know, we could, we could control the game. We didn't have to give the ball back. So then the question just became, all right, how did we want to use our timeouts? So the first one I used was to double check my math uh, <laughs> to start the four play sequence and then explain to the guys what we were going to do. Because it's kind of a weird situation because you're like, all right, center it, then kneel it, then kneel it, then we're going to take a timeout. And without being able to explain that, that was a little challenging. So I took the timeout then to tell them what we we're going to do and then took the timeout at two seconds left. All right, Utah coming to town on Saturday. When you arrived, you told us about the Utah program. You admired what Kyle Whittingham has done up there, the culture he has established now in that program. And you're getting your team at that same level. How, now three years into it, do you feel like you're there with Utah or what? What? where do you want to go next? Yeah, well, I think what, what I look forward to is the consistency that Utah has. And uh, that's kind of what we talked about is I think Kyle's in his 19th year as a head coach or 18th year as a head coach. He was there as, as a coordinator before that. Um, everybody that's ever signed with Utah over the last decade or more knows what they're signing up for. And that's our goal. Our goal is that when people come to Arizona, that they know what they're signing up for. And in two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, whatever it might be, they know, hey, this is what we signed up for. This is who we're going to be. This is our brand, and that's what we're looking forward to. All right, well, last home game, last chance for the fans to see your team. Nothing would be more to them, I think, to have 50,000 people there uh, to send them off to the final game of the season, of the regular season, and then another game after that. Yeah, well, it's senior day, number one. So how about some of the kids that have uh, gone through the whole gamut, you know, that have been here uh, when times were tough, stuck with us, stayed with us, and gone through this process, we need to celebrate them. We need to celebrate the military. It's Military Appreciation Day. And then we've got our last home game. We've got a chance. We're four and one at home uh, this season. And uh, we got to find a way to get the five and one at home and we need everybody at the game. All right. How about this? If you can be there, be there. Yeah, let's do it. All right. 1230 Saturday, Arizona, Utah. Two Minute Drill with Jed Fish is presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union. Whether buying your first car or purchasing a new home, Hughes is here to help take you further. HughesFCU.org, insured by NCUA. 
Hughes Federal Credit Union can help grow your finances with high rates on Hughes tiered money market accounts that outperform the market statewide. Plus, you can withdraw your funds without a penalty. Visit HughesFCU.org slash money market today.